Hi guys, uh, CryptoVince here. Um, I just want to make another quick tutorial about Fibonacci and I'm just gonna do a very quick one uh, for retracement and extension and I just want to show you my last um, pattern that I found. Let's go back and check. This is Bitcoin. So check the two hour chart and as you guys can see here this pattern is making some kind of up and downs and it's an harmonic pattern called a bat and in this case is a bullish pattern um, to figure out that I use Fibonacci retracement first to see first of all you know I noticed the pattern and I can trace a Fibonacci retracement to see um, if the pattern matches up with the, the, the requirements of a bullish bat um, so let's check this mm -hmm. I'm gonna trace Fibonacci retracement from the bottom to the top of this main spike and this main spike retraced 50% and it should be a good indicator for a bat which should kind of retrace I think from 38 to 50 percent so in this case if we trace our bat XA just you know our main uh, spike then it can retrace 38 or 50 percent of the Fibonacci then uh, B2C like that I'm gonna show you what's happening there <clears throat> okay B2C can retrace 38% or um, to 88% of AB right so a and b is this one so we want to trace a retracement of this one and this b to c has to retrace from 38 to 88 uh, percent so let me remove this one so i'm gonna trace a retracement of this one which is bearish so in this uh, case i'm gonna trace the, the retracement from the top to the bottom and now i have my 100 percent retracement on top right and from here to here um this retracement it retraces 78 percent of a b okay so 78 percent is uh, is good as um, as the rule followed by the bat then c and d can retrace up to 88 percent of x a so um so of x a which is this one c and d has to retrace up to 88 percent so if i trace Fibonacci retracement of this AX, we see that this retraced 78%. So it's considered as a perfect bat in this case. Okay, so to do pretty quick again, and I'm gonna draw some lines. So this is my main spike I want to consider. Okay. Why it's called the main spike, you know, few of you might think, oh, this is not the main spike. There are some reds where you have to take in consideration that if I go to the four hour chart, that's almost the spike that I want to look for. Actually, if I go, I go to one day chart, I will see uh, the main spike there. So that's the main spike I want to look for. Let's go back. Let's take this one so this bullish pattern actually if i put some indicator let's see uh, right there you see this is the a bullish pattern okay 
from the MACD you can see from the bottom to the top right here and here it starts a bearish pattern so I'm gonna trace a Fibonacci retracement of this which is X to A and as to retrace 50% or 38 and we got it then uh -huh, I want let me let me trace something I want this spike right here to be at least between 38 and 88 percent of this one okay so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna let me move this I'm gonna trace a Fibonacci retracement not from the bottom to the top but from the top to the bottom to see how much this retrace and this retrace 78 percent which is in the range um, of the rule of a bat which is uh, from 38% to 88.6 Fibonacci and we get this too okay so we have one two three four points and then the last one so this spike has to retrace up to 88.6% Fibonacci of this main spike right here okay so those are rules that you have to follow in order to uh, draw harmonic patterns and um, you have to follow those rules you know you can find those rules online I'm just showing you so in order to do this one I can just use this previous retracement since I traced it before I'm gonna extend it and it's retraced 78% which is in the range so in this case I'm gonna draw a nice bullish pat pat <laughs> right here here we go now for my opinion we're in crypto patterns they're not gonna be right on the number like killing it um harmonic pattern should be to be honest very precise but since we're in crypto and you, we know this market is very volatile i um sometimes cheat a little bit with my uh with my patterns but they pretty much always work uh -huh. What I wanted to show you some other cool things. So I drew this pattern. Let's see if I never drew this one. First of all, we might have lots of users are seeing a falling wedge here, which uh, which might work for sure. Let's see this one falling wedge here. This one. This one right now. Which is didn't break yet uh, but we know we have the Fibonacci level that's fighting so that's why it's not dropping anymore it touched right there and it's bouncing off and now it's fighting over this Fibonacci right here uh, hopefully you know it breaks up right now because we have this um, you know as everyone know the one year trend that I mean, I can trade from far away, but this is the one rear trend that we don't want to break down. Okay, so um, yeah, so I explained a little bit some Fibonacci retracement. I wanted to show you how the Fibonacci extension works very good too, in any case. Uh, so, yeah, let me check this and that. So, let's see. So if I traced, of course I can uh, figure it out the, um, the correction of the bat uh, by using my Fibonacci levels here, right? So I can see 
if it wants to arrive for example 61 and 78 and so on but i have another another tool Fibonacci extension which is pretty pretty uh, uh, uh precise when we trace on the chart so i just want to show you so if we were if we were right here okay and i notice i have some kind of a bat forming and i'm not sure where it might end up right even though i should respect the rules but in order to be precise what should i do is using fibonacci extension on a downtrend this time uh let me remove this that okay so how i use this i use the this tool right here trend base fibonacci extension it's called trend base because it uses the previous trend to calculate the next one so if the next one is a bearish trend i want to use the previous bullish trend in order to know the extension of the bearish one so how i do i click the top of the correction because if we know this uh, trend is going down uh, of course starts from here right it starts from here then there is this bullish co correction and then it's gonna go down right so i'm gonna use the top of the correction and i click the bottom of the correction and go back up okay right there perfect now let me remove under 27 here we don't need it need this that and that now i have my extension right mm, right there 161 percent that as you can see it perfectly matches up with this previous uh support and if i trace the line of this 161 percent connects first of all this support line and then boom voila the nice target right there and that's where it's bouncing off right now um if it doesn't hold where we we have this um one year trend support that needs to be uh, broken down and if gets broken down uh -huh. this is where we should end up 7k right there but you know i don't wanna i don't wanna really see that to be honest so i show you guys how to trace a fibonacci extension by knowing the previous trend and to be honest if you know how to good that um that tool to use that tool pretty good you would have made let's see you would have made from here to there a nice 10 percent which in uh, margin trading <laughs> could have give you lots of money and that's it guys i uh, hope you enjoy please uh follow the channel uh follow youtube first of all put the like and you guys can find us on uh, on telegram and you can find our channel by follow following um, uh, the link on my website and it's right in the description see you guys and good luck with this market bye bye